So this is a standard circle randomizer. All the settings you might expect. But the twist is I can only use Jupiter card combinations. If I don't find Jupiter, I can't use magic. This is not my request. This is from the chats. The fact that Jupiter Climb is playing a Jupiter Combos Rando is a simple coincidence. Now one exception, I can use the speed up combo because I mean come on, we're trying to go fast here. Jupiter puns are only fun if you plan it beforehand. Huh. Well, good luck topping that one, everybody. So yeah, besides that, no other restriction. Not to worry, though, it's going to be Jupiter right here. First card. <laughs> Not quite. I suppose I'll also mention now that if I need to use Mars or Mercury for a bone float check, so not a bone flow, a brain flow check. No glitches allowed, but that's fine. You know, I tend to defend people, quite vociferously, who prefer glitchless speedruns, right? It's one of my mottos. Glitches or cheats. But, um, I got a comment on YouTube the other day. On my Aria of Sorrow Alter speedrun of all things. Complaining that I used RNG Minute. Come on! We gotta draw the line somewhere here. That's a little unreasonable. Okay. This is gonna be a great chance to learn about some of these lesser used Jupiter combos. This is why intended percent was invented. For people like that, who just want it as pure as possible. No cheats, no manips, no speed hacks, just the game. Another card. Okay. Is Skeleton a Jupiter combo? I'll take that armor, it's something. So intended percent is less about mind reading because I agree, that part's a little bit, uh, hard to decipher. Like, what did Ega really intend? With every game except for Circle, who knows? What did the Kobe team intend for Circle? But it's just shorthand for saying no skips, no glitches. Which is a little bit more objective. Although not perfect. Alright, so with the axe, that's actually the bad pattern. I want to see red here. Oh, 
Uh, no RNG minips for this game. The RNG here works correctly. In fact, it changes every frame, both inside and outside of the menu. What if you MP glitch in Soden? I would personally call that an MP happy accident. That's a good drop. Hey, look, it's vanilla. I was about to make a joke about getting a strength ring. And it happened. Well, we're farming another one. I don't care how long it takes. Actually, can the Axel one shot in? Yeah. More extracts. Gamma. I could always come back later with luck gear, but that's really not necessary. The drop rates here are high. There we go. Alright, so now this uh, frozen shade farm that I always do is going to be super quick. Okay. That's the first of four key pieces that I need. One of the better Jupiter combos right here. Jupiter plus Unicorn. Just to be safe that we're gonna save. Man, I'm having so much fun. We gotta do more of these circle randos. Can I just say, this is my one contribution to this game as a speedrun. Garney invented this game, but I invented this right here. Normally you would like fall through the platform, but what you can do instead is a weird kind of head bonk, where if you jump right there, it kind of clips you through. I invented that. Oh, well, this is already paying off. I'm used to doing, like, three damage here. I'm about to kill, like, five. You know, I'll kill two more. That should be enough. It's so quick though, I don't know. It's so quick. This is the best experience to HP ratio in the whole game, and maybe the whole Castlevania franchise. If you could come down here from the start in vanilla, 
I think this would be in the Vampire Killer speedrun. Garney, please confirm. Oh, one more? Let me get one more level up. Yeah, for Glitchless, exactly. Otherwise, you know, if you're cheating, you just go fight Dracula. Well, with such a high level and so much good gear, I can kind of go wherever I want. I mean, look, I can one-shot comfortably the axe armor. Very nice. Hey, what's up, Lemon? Thank you so much for the raid. Hope your stream went well today. Um, I'm getting all kinds of stuff here. Hang on. What? Hang on. Two hard rings and two, uh, one sage armband, okay? Uh, do I use these? Maybe later. Hard ring is not bad if you want to just tank stuff. Damn, Lemon with the raid and the sub. Thank you for seven months. Very much appreciated. Alright, so at this point, Necromancer is gonna be kind of a joke. Jupiter? No. It's kind of sad. This is the earliest I think I've ever seen Skeleton. And it's banned. Okay, this is getting kind of dangerously close to go mode, but I'll tell you what, it is a Jupiter rando. We're gonna say that the Jupiter card is a part of go mode. It's here somewhere, guaranteed. Yo, toy ring! I'm about to move this over to a Lord of the Rings playthrough. I'm always a bit surprised why more people didn't get into that category. It's a great concept, and sure, there are some double frame perfect tricks you gotta learn, and you gotta beat up Camilla without double jump, but it's fun. What is the concept? Get all the rings. Much like in 100 Big Bones, defeating Dracula is fully optional. Oh, no, 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 it is not a guaranteed BB Mud fan. Um, Lord of the Rings is one of the more optimized categories. <laughs> you gotta get real lucky at this point.
43. We're playing fighter mode. Oh my god. <laughs> Equipment in circle is pretty good. It's gonna be a one cycle. Oh my god! Even more strength! Yeah, I am not gonna add Mercury to the tracker, but keep in mind I do have that now. I've also had Mars for a while. Well, at this point with kick boots, all I can do is, um, Eternal Hallway. Yeah, all 20 cards are lying around. But, uh, knowing my luck, it's gonna be like 30 minute go mode, and then hour and a half Jupiter. Pay no attention to that Pensabone clip. You gotta believe me, my luck in this game is bad. By the way, did you know this game is gonna be at ESA? It's gonna be a return of uh, Vampire Killer All Bosses, which is very exciting. Looking forward to watching that Bobby run. Oh! <laughs> Do I have a lot of use for Sage Robe at this point? No, but on top of the 500 ints, the defense is also super good. This is why hard mode item drops exist. Nice. Oh my god. What a kind see. Oh, is that a control? Bad movement. Is this a key? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I am one check away from go mode. And now with Rockwing, I can go over here. It's been a while since I've done this, so let me uh, save. Can I just point out, earlier today on Twitter, I posted the, um, oh, it's go mode. <laughs> All right, I said 30 minute go mode, I'm at 18. Where is Jupiter? <laughs> But yeah, I posted an interview with Iga and Takeda. Jesus. Who's, you know, the um, director for Harmony of Dissonance. And um, the translation was great. It unfortunately included some opining from the translators about Harmony that no one on planet Earth asked for. Kind of the classic. And one of the... Um, text boxes with commentary said, you know, sadly, despite the fact the director wanted uh, an intense combat game, Harmony's low difficulty compromised their vision. That is just the eternal meme. If anyone ever says that to my face, I just can't take them seriously. Easy game. Please make fun of that person. Just a little bit. Not too much. But I think a little mockery is well warranted. Well, even if I find Jupiter, Dracula's gonna take a while.
Jupiter? No. So we have not done Aria no hit in a couple of days. It's going to return tomorrow. Along with Easy Game Harmony. You know, it might have been a mistake to come up here. Might be dealing with the backtrack. No heavy ring. Jupiter? <laughs> it's gonna be the last card. It's gonna be the last one. Alright, so either... I find Heavy Ring right here, or it's going to be a return trip through the chapel. On the bright side, this will be a cool chance to try out some Axe Strats on Adramelech. Um, excuse me. Wait a minute, is that consistent? Hang on, let me, let me see this again. Oh nice, okay. New angle. <laughs> you can either dash or just hold up. And get that every time. Well, it's not looking good. Hey, what's up, DMS? Kind of surprised I can't get a triple hit in here somewhere. Greedy, I'm gonna die. I'm getting too greedy. Okay, we won. And hey, look, free healing. You'll notice there how the axe continues to move, even while you're activating a combo. That happens with certain projectiles, kind of interesting. Well, no one has seen the seat except for me, so it's fine if chat wants to guess, or give me a hint. Where do people think Jupiter is? I can go basically wherever. So long as it's not guarded by Heavy Ring or a Tackle Block, it's open right now. We got some downtime here. What's everyone thinking? What's the call? Camilla! Not even Waterway, just Camilla, huh? That's a bold guess. Clock tower is sadly inaccessible. I, well, half of it is. I could try the other half. With rock wing, that's looking a little bit likely. I personally think it might be the armory. And we can route in clock tower from there.
And you know what, while I'm here, let me just make sure to grab a cross. I can do these checks. Oh, Saturn is definitely in this game. And I was gonna make some joke about familiars being terrible. But in the post-nuclear age, you gotta put some respect on Saturn's name. Is it possibly locked out of it since I'm in go mode? Username. <laughs> you know, it's very fitting I just got a cursed ring. Because that was a cursed comment. I had not considered that. I am not sure. Someone will have to ask Spooky. It's just one of those situations where it's like half the castle is locked away. You gotta just go win. Well, if that's the case, this run is invalid. Nothing. Oh, no way! How many cards do I have right now? Uh, quick math. Six. Alright, so it's a one in ten. One in ten chance. This is Jupiter. That would have been hype. Is Thunderbird good? I don't even remember what the Thunderbird-Jupiter combo is. Don't even remember. I see half of this is blocked off to me right now. <laughs> I have gotten five keys before Tackle and Heavy Ring. Interesting. Half damage but always knocked back. That is very good. Especially on like Dracula for example. Since, um, you know. You're getting knocked back no matter what. Imagine damage tanking versus Dracula 2. A Thunderbird Venus is also one of the better combos in the game. That is a big offensive boost. It scales with uh, how much map you find. But in this game it's really easy to get a lot of percentage. Relatively quickly. Another Sage Rope. Cool. Well, we had a couple of interesting checks, but this was not the right way. Maybe Camilla was the right call? Oh, totally agreed. Clock tower music in circle, very underrated. One of the better overall clock tower themes, I think. Are you telling me a circle song is not original? A circle song. There's no way. This game has got like three original songs total, I think. That's okay.
What a shot. Yeah, I was in the same boat, Alundra. This is my first Castlevania period. So all this music was like, damn. <laughs> this series has got some good music. Very strong first impression. So like, I think the two highlights are probably Awake, which is obviously original, and then Proof of Blood which I'm still convinced might be the best Dracula theme in Castlevania. God, when is that getting a remix? Could it be behind the last key door? I like that guess. We'll do that after this. In a way, that spot would be absolutely perfect. No, I don't think so, Eric. I mean, you're right, this game is definitely independence, but I had no frame of reference. And I think the story in this game is nice and classic. There's really not a whole lot to it, not a lot of meat on the bone. It's just you're a vampire hunter, you got a friend who's kind of a moron, you gotta carry, and then go uh, defeat Dracula. Nice and simple and straightforward, which is kind of how I like it. Alright, so let's take a peek. I'm curious. Could it be in the validation check? This would be something. No way. No way! <laughs> oh my god! Well, chat coming in clutch. I uh, would not have done that check. <laughs> not rigged. Not rigged. Alright, so what do we got? We got Jupiter Unicorn. That's good enough. Let's all just reflect on that moment while I hard farm. Sorry if they got a little loud. I'm reflecting. I'm reflecting right now. I can't believe that happened. Yeah, shoutouts to Razzlings. With this kind of gear... Yeah, sub 45, 100%. Unless I blow it. Which, you know, is always possible. Oh, that's good enough. My level here is 18, not great. This is the first time ever I will have completed a circle seed. As far as I can remember, of course with no tackle and no heavy ring. Oh yeah, WMK as well. How did two people make that prediction correctly? Because it was just such a meme location.
This has been the perfect seed. I'm at plus 150 attack. I've got the best Jupiter combo for this fight. Not going to see it too much here, so you know what? Instead, I'll take Garni's advice and use Jupiter Thunderbird. And it's not expensive either. I'm curious. That's it? Wow, this is a nice combo. Soldier fatigues are not the best defensively. Okay. And uh, what does that drop? It's like an eye exam. Uh, potion? High potion? Nice, I passed. Good question. Now that I have Jupiter, we can finally talk about what this card does. All of the god cards have a certain theme, you know, offense, defense, projectile, special, something like that. For Jupiter, it shields. So that combo was a big defense increase. We're going to see a more traditional shield for Dracula 2. But uh, one more hard farm. It'll be worth it. Current cap is 168. We're going to hit that cap. And you know what? Thunderbird is going to be pretty nice for Meteors. Because you know me, I don't pause buffer. I'm not like Darren. I'm not like Garney. I don't believe in pause buffering. So I'm probably going to get hit. <laughs> so that'll be nice. You know, Circle is a cruel game, but I do expect they meant for people to leave the room. Can you imagine they locked you in? You had to do Dracula 1, then Dracula 2. The thing is, Dracula 2 is so much harder than Dracula 1, and it's so much more of a level check. That would have been too much. Doesn't nuclear speedrun include pause buffering? It includes frame events. Small but meaningful distinction. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna try and hold on to my crosses here as best I can. needs to pause buffer. I just saved like two seconds. I'm ready to race. You know, I'm a bit surprised I'm not doing more damage here. Sub 45 might be tough. Yeah, level 27 with all this gear.
Not too bad. Now this is one of my favorite combos in the game right here, Jupiter Unicorn. It is perfect for the bats. I can play much more aggressive here. If a bat spawns in your shield, that can still do damage, but it's not a big deal. I threw that cross a bit early. Um, like I said. <laughs> He got in there. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. And the shield itself does contact damage like this. Pretty nice. Time. Okay, I think that's a new PB for me. Jupiter or no Jupiter. That was super quick. <laughs>